Hi Aquarius, welcome to your weekly reading for March 31st to April 6th, sorry, March 30th to April 6th. I am Charlene Lizette. This is Raven. If you are new here, hello, hi. I hope you hit the subscribe button and become a part of our High Vibe community. If you are returning, a massive thank you to you for being a part of our High Vibe community. As always, I do need to give gratitude and adoration to my great Queen the Morgan, to whom all my work is devoted to. Okay, okay, let's see what's going on. The moon, the five of cups, and the two of cups. The eight of cups, whoa, Aquarius, the nine of swords. Six, seven, damn. You saw this coming from a mile away. Sorry, Raven, baby, I need space. Full moon and Libra when I'm recording. So of course there's fun stuff going on in the skies. The veil is also super thin. I'm not going to take that because I forgot to flip it over last time. So the astrology card you got is a square. Resistance, struggle, obstacles, experience, effort, learning, conflict, obsession, problems. Uh, Aquarius, this very much feels like a love reading to me. So I'm just going to go. Um, you're not stuck, Aquarius. You're not stuck, okay? Um, pay attention to the red flags. You, you, you see this, the Eight of Swords. You're not stuck. The red flags are cautioning you. Make the effort, keep an open mind. Yeah, this deception at the bottom of the deck, for the love of Jeez Louise. Let me get the romance cards. Because I do feel this is very heavily, like there's a lot of cups here. This is a romance reading. The Queen of Wands, the King of Pentacles, the Knave of Wands, that's the Page of Wands, the Ace of Swords. Mm. Um, I just heard I'm not an option. I'm a priority. You're not an option. You're a priority. Friendship, I understand that a friend is in my life for a reason, freedom. I possess the power and the free will to create my own happiness. Um, I wish this was like, I, you know, I, I got to tell you the truth. It really like irks me when I'm like, why can't we just get all good readings? But at the end of the day, we're life and life isn't all roses, lollipops, gumdrops and sunshine. What I am going to tell you, though, is that this accumulation um, may have been in part with the full moon in Libra that was illuminating to you, which actually is today. Um, it's all about healing relationship wounds, toxic wounds, leaving them behind. Um, I, I really get this energy that some of you may have been in a situation with somebody who was very domineering, very controlling, um, and may have had wandering eyes. <sighs> they kind of just wanted to put it where they wanted to put it if you know what I'm talking about right um they needed to be in control all the time um you know they won you over with their charm their words their passion but at the end of the day um this feels very restrictive and the eight of swords confirms it right um it was like you were bound locked like you know if you're currently going through this, please know that you're not alone. Please, please, please um, get support from friends, from uh, from individuals that will believe you, um, that will um, uh, that will support you, that will help you. Um, I also get this energy. Some of you might be living with that, and you're feeling very stuck right now. Like I can't leave, but you need to leave. Um, or like they're financially trapping you. This this person feels very, very controlling to me. The moon, illusions, delusions, the things that you didn't get to see until maybe it was too late. Um, the five of cups. This is a massive feeling of like sadness, loss, grief. Um, and it's okay to feel these things right now, Aquarius, because you got to feel them to heal them. 
right? You got to go through the emotions of the ocean. You got to go through this experience to be able to learn, to be able to understand more about yourself, to be able to understand why you attract the type of partners that you were attracting. And maybe like where you could be learning about yourself a little bit more so that you don't make those same mistakes again. The two of cups and the eight of cups, there's definitely a, a relationship, a connection. This feels romantic, to be honest with you, with every other card. Um, a, a romantic relationship that you're walking away from, Aquarius, um, that feels so freaking hard to walk away from. Like, it does not feel good to walk away from this. It feels really sad. It um, feels depressing. Um... You know, I just saw somebody um, turn around and go like, why? Why again? Like, why is this happening again? Um, somebody found something out through a phone. Saw a text or a call, something like that. Something was hidden from you, and then and then it was illuminated with this full moon in Libra. But like the fact that the Nine of Swords is here, and then the Ten of Swords is here, but then the High Priestess is in the middle. Like you knew this the whole time. You knew the whole fucking time. But I I just think you didn't want to accept it, or maybe like you didn't want to be cynical. Or maybe you kind of hushed your intuition because it wasn't telling you what you wanted to hear. This feels so frustrating for you. Like, I, I get this energy here that, like my, like, my heart goes out to you. Like, I want to reach through the camera and, like, say, come, let me give you a big hug. Let me cuddle you. Come lay on my lap. Let me rub your hair. Let me make you feel better. Um, let me snuggle you. Let me give you love. Like, I want to give you love right now. I, I just, I, I want to turn around and say, like, you didn't deserve this. But I guess if we look at it from that way, it's like a, a victim mentality. And maybe this is part of your journey for growth, for evolution, um, to acknowledge where you're repeating patterns that maybe aren't serving you for your highest good anymore. Um, and I'm really, yeah, look at this, the Queen of Wands, the, the High Priestess. There might be mommy issues involved there with the Queen of Wands. Um, you might have been part of a third party situation with the, the queen and the king of wands. Like they might have had somebody else, or not wands, pentacles. They might have had somebody else all along. The king of pentacles is showing up twice. Um, yeah, somebody who very much likes tradition to be in control. Um, yeah, look, they have a side piece. <laughs> To me, whenever the Queen of Wands kind of shows up afterwards, it's, it's always a side piece. And look, she's right here too. And you've been on such a high lately, Aquarius, that I feel like this maybe is being released for you, for your own good. Um, so that you can continue enjoying all the blessings that are coming your way and not allow this energy to like pull you down, drag you down, honestly. It's a fucking burden. Um, and it's hard to let go of, but trust, like, let go of that um, so that you can welcome in um, and make space for better energy into your life. I'm, like, really resisting crying here. I'm all choked up. All right, Aquarius, if you're interested in a private reading, either live or pre-recorded, take a look at the description box below to see how you can book with me. If you are interested in joining the moon membership to do full moon and new moon rituals live and interactive with me through Zoom, uh, take a look at the description to see how you can sign up for the monthly subscription where there's also going to be like a private Facebook group. Um, and if you are interested in shopping over at Starseed Jewels and picking up your modern day amulets to help you attract what you desire, also in the description box below, they're 20% off right now. Thank you for your likes, your comments, your shares, your subscribes. Most importantly, thank you for being you and keep shining bright Aquarius. We'll see you later, alligator. Peace out. Bye.